Fioria, it's Travis here. Welcome back to Adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we got some Skull Splitter Tusks for Keybok. It's going to use them to uh, to sell. And supposedly he was going to like fake that they were another form of tusks, I think, for tigers. And he was going to use the, the Skull Splitter Tusks instead, because they're a lot easier to get. So uh, that's what we did. We slayed some skull splitter trolls and got their tusks for them. And Keybok was happy, gave us some silver, and then we moved on. Also forgot to sell some stuff, so we're going to make sure we uh, sell some of these, uh, these grays that we have on us. So we can, you know, get some bag space. We're kind of running out of bag space here, but we're at 20 gold, which is nice. Gold is going up. Saving up for our epic mount, I guess. Let's check our... Uh, Alchemy's at 221. We could get it up to 225. So maybe next time we go to... Uh, the town. We'll make sure we upgrade that. First aid needs to get up too. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff to do. Tons of stuff. Today we're going to uh, Grumgall Base Camp. Try to do some more quests in Stranglethorn Vale. Just need to uh, pair my gear as well. Got a decent amount of XP last episode too. Got level 43, which was nice. Got one step closer to getting our natural weapons. Upgrade, which will increase our damage. And here we go. We're landing in. Let's go sell some stuff here. Then we're going to talk to Nargat. Get rid of some of these grays. Broad Claymore. Should probably get us a couple of gold, too. Ruin of Opening. I don't know what that is. Coarse gorilla hair. Gorilla fang. I guess we'll keep the gorilla fangs. I think I want to see what this stuff sells for. Got some chipped gorilla tooth. All the grays we'll try to get rid of. This plate. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Webwing cloak. I wonder if that's better than the cloak we have on. No, not even close. So we'll get rid of that. Get rid of these boots. Get rid of these night sky trousers. Troll sweat. I don't know why we're holding on to that. Get rid of the sword. Just crochet. Yeah, get rid of that musket. Should we keep the large fang? No, we'll get rid of it. Got three gold from all that. It's pretty good. Alright, well. I think we've cleared up enough space in our bags. So what's this other stuff here? It's shiny fish scales. Yeah, I guess we'll get rid of that too. Okay. So let's go over to uh, Kinwele over here. See what quest he has for us today. Split bone necklace. Now that you have gathered blood scalp trophies, I have another task for you. The Skull Splitter tribe of trolls live to the southeast, and for years we have warred with them. Although the Dark Spears no longer dwell in Stranglethorn, we are bound to our conflict with the Skull Splitters. So hunt them down, gather their split bone necklaces, and return to me. Aid us in our war, and you will earn the friendship of the Dark Spears. So we have to bring. Uh, Two piece, I got two. The reward is two pieces of loot we're going to use. And we have to bring these Ninja. necklaces. Looks like we got to go fight the same trolls that uh, we fought last last quest. So, what would have been a good idea if you guys ever uh, are questing an STV? You should probably combine skull splitter tusks with split bone necklace. Because if you do both of them at the same time, it's kind of kind of bang out, you know, two at once. So we're going back to where the skull splitter trolls are, and uh, I guess we're gonna go farm some skull splitter trolls today. Bang out some blue bar, which is nice. Should get a decent amount of XP. Might get close to halfway to uh, level 44. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be the quest that we do today. Cashy Roots. 
crazy how long you can be leveling in STV for. Still like like level 43 and I'm still doing quests here. I think I could do quests up to at least level like mid 40s maybe. Well, we got an alliance down there. An alliance gnome warlock. Just hanging out AFK. Got a level 60 Torrent Druid chilling out here. Maybe he's picking up some herbs or something like that. Let's make our way south. Got a young panther punching us. Clawing us down. Here we go. Still got to do ZG this week. I just remembered that. Trying to farm uh, farm rep to get the enchants. Because the enchants are really good on the warrior. I need to get them. Cadgar's whisker right there. I think I'm going to pick that up. Keep on leveling our herbalism. I think we have it almost at 300. Well, we're getting close at least. STV's pretty nice in the morning, though. Don't mind it at all. Another Cadgar's Whisker. It's pretty peaceful. Birds are chirping. Not bad. It's one of my favorite questing zones, I think. I think we've been here for a long time, too. Still have a ton of quests to do here, too. I think we could, when did we come here? Like level 35? Still here at 43. Okay, we're moving south. I gotta get to, uh, yeah, these Baliyama ruins before we start, uh, questing. So that's where all the Skull Splitter trolls are, if I remember correctly. It's nice that we got our mount, though. Might buy a new weapon on the auction house. What's our weapon at? It's a level, I think it's like 41. No, we can wait. Oh no. We're running into ogres. We gotta run away. Might have to jump down here. It's gonna hurt. If we can climb this. We smash, you die. Here we go. There we go, we've made it. We made the Skull Splitter Troll Land. Now I have to deal with this mystic. Shouldn't be too bad of a quest. We kind of dealt with these guys pretty easily yesterday. Let's heal up here. Try to buff up. Get our buffs going. Another skull splitter warrior. There we go. So, like, it looks like it's not bad. Probably have to slay around. 50 of these guys again. We had to slay a lot yesterday. Hoping I get an invite for the Shadowlands Alpha. You know what I'm surprised about, though? It's tons of games, you know? For betas access. They do this drop system stuff. 
like you watch a stream and then like, I don't know, there's like a chance that it'll drop. Kind of wonder if uh, Blizzard's going to do that for uh, for the Shadowlands beta. Right now it's in alpha, so it's kind of like closed off. But um, I'm hoping I get a beta invite. So I'm looking forward to that expansion. I assume they're going to give it to uh, anyone who pre-ordered the game. They'll most likely get a, a beta key. I got some gold thrown over here. The game looks good. It's making me want to uh, go back to retail. Okay, where's, uh, where's these skull splitter trolls at? All I see is gorillas. I'm going to cheetah here. There's usually a bunch in these like ruins, so we'll go over the ruins. See if we can find any any trolls in there. There we go. Got a little skull splitter warrior here. Not bad. I'm not taking a lot of damage from these guys. Yeah, I want to get into Shadowlands so I can try that new Torghast game mode that they got. Looks, sounds pretty cool. Here we go. I hope this, I hope it's like Legion. Now, I don't know if I just want to say I hope the game is like, like Legion, but... With Mythic Plus coming out in Legion, it really changed the game. It was like a game mode like everybody, I don't know if everybody liked it, but liked Mythic Plus, but it added a lot of content to the game. Made dungeons, uh, I don't know, just more fun, more challenging as well. Like Classic is fun. I enjoy playing classic. It's just it gets kind of dull after a while because all you do, well, at max level, it gets kind of dull just because all you do is just farm the raids. The raids are pretty easy. You have like a competent group of people, it's not that bad. And then all you do outside a raid is just get buffs for raid. You can PvP for fun, you can grind honor, I guess. Or farm gold. Farming gold's a big one. No, we only got two split bone necklaces. I've slayed like a whole group of these guys. It's gonna be a grind, guys. That's why I recommend pairing pairing these quests up. If you could get the skull splitter cuss quest with this one, it'd be pretty good. Purple lotus over here. I'm gonna try to Skrill on me. Protecting the purple lotus. I can try to farm these though. Supposedly purple lotus is gonna go up in AQ. Phase five. Gorilla Fang. Alright, let's get this purple lotus. There we go. We got our herbalism up to 268. Not bad. Do a little regrowth. Skull Splitter Mystic. Yeah, this is a this quest is gonna be a grind. I might have to slay like a hundred of these, man. I hope some alliance come around so we have some PvP. 
Because, yeah, they all don't have necklaces. Necklaces are very rare. But we'll eventually get it. We'll get our 25. And I don't mind farming it for a while because I do need to bang up some of this blue bar. I have like a whole level of it. Get him down! Well, not bad. There's another one or a three. It's two in a row. Will we get three in a row? Oh, we missed our missed our ravage. Got him down. Another skull splitter mystic. Seems like the mystics have the necklaces. Every time I fight warriors, they don't have them. Layering still going on too. Kind of hope they get rid of that soon. I know like a lot of people are. That's why, that's why I feel like I'm not seeing as many alliance out here. Like only seen one. The server's split in two right now, so it kind of feels less populated. Yeah, these mystics tend to have the the necklace. So they split it because of like I don't know COVID nineteen. People couldn't get on. Because there's, like, so many people doing, like, self-isolation. So the queue times are just wild. Everyone's just like, hey, you know what? Got a lot of time on my hands, chilling out at home. Might as well play some WoW. But, uh, people were just complaining about queue times. Now we got layering again. Just hope it goes away. Just not a fan of layering. Good news is it seems like uh, the deaths for COVID have gone down. I've like I don't know, haven't been doubling anymore, which is nice. I was kind of worried about COVID when it was doubling every week. Like every week it would just double in deaths, and it's starting to go down a lot, which is nice. So hopefully by the summer or soon we won't have this. Uh, Self-isolation stuff going on. <laughs> we can get back to normal, you know? Yeah, we do. We're living in interesting times, that's for sure. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. going on inside here? We got an axe thrower, a skull splitter warrior. Let's deal with these guys. Oh, looks like we're pulling the bolts at the same time. Supposedly this is like the best way to quest. Like fighting stuff that's green. Because, uh... No, the XP's pretty decent. And, uh... There's like less downtime, you know. Like if I, these guys were yellow or actually hard to hard to take out, there'd be a lot more downtime for me uh, being able to slay these guys. Well, we're getting some necklaces. We're at seven. We're almost a third there. These necklace quests t tend to take a while. The last one, I think, with the episode was like over an hour, but. That was because we got in a lot of PvP fights. It's like a priest and I think a hunter. 
Alaska Mojo. Got an axe throw over here. Well, the spawn rate's pretty good. I keep spawning back every time I take one out. Which is nice. I have to run around looking for them. Cadgar's Whisker over there. Pick that up. It's going to be cool when I've done all the professions. And I can start uh, using, like getting like the, the high, the, like the high-end pots. That would be good. Can't wait to get this guy to 62 because my warrior, he needs a guy to make him some pots. And uh, that's what my druid's going to be, be for, for sure. Skull Splitter Mystic. This guy's usually have necklaces. Ooh, that was a nice crit. Only a flask of mojo. Let's get our thorns back up. I don't want to miss any of our buffs. Some king's blood over there. Kind of not looking for King's Blood at the moment. Skull Splitter Warrior. Take him out. XP's not bad. I'm getting like 400 on some of them. I need 106k XP to get level 44. <laughs> Gets pretty wild at the high end. Actually, I only need like 200k for a level. I think that's like around like level 60. You need like over 200k. Go get some wild vines, some greater healing pots. Those are always nice to get. Yeah, it's crazy how like I'm only halfway to 60 right now. XP wise. I feel like I've been leveling this guy forever. <laughs> another one down. Yeah, I'm way too high of a level for these guys. They can't even hit me with their spells. Oh, we got into green. Not bad. Male helm. The helm of stamina. Not bad. We'll have to sell that. Keep getting our gold up. Got to save for our epic mount. Have to get a new weapon eventually. I think I'm going to wait though until like level. Maybe like mid 40s. And then I'll. Try to get a new weapon. Another split bone necklace. Slowly but surely getting there. We're almost halfway. Two more to go. There's no one else farming here, so that's not bad. I could imagine if anybody had to compete for mobs. This would be a pretty tough uh, quest to get done. I remember when I when the the game first came out or like even during the beta when I was like practicing with this uh this guy named Blue to le for leveling and 
all the mobs were pretty much slain around around you because the place the starting zones were packed. So what you had to do was you had to just stand in one spot and wait for uh, a mob to spawn to tag it, and it was like a race to tag it with other people that are in the zone as well. I think I have a video of me doing that. So I do have the first day during the launch on Feralina. It's like a two hour video on my channel. It shows like all the, the stuff that went on during the first the launch of uh, Classic WoW. Like one of the main things was lining up for quests. Like people would like, I don't know, do lines or form a line to, uh, I guess, pick up an item that would, like, disappear after it got picked up. There's a lot of that going on. Which was good. It showed that the, you know, classic WoW community can work, work together. Looking forward to BC, though. I think we'll see that in, uh, King's Blood, Purple Lotus around here. There we go. I think we'll see TBC in uh, 2021. Which would be pretty awesome. Because, uh... I don't know, I like really like the raids in TBC. But I think the, the launch is going to be way worse than Classic. Could you imagine... Like, no layer. Oh, there's going to be layering 100%. But could you imagine, like, when they turn, if they turned off layering, or what it's going to be like on those pack servers during a launch, a TBC launch, and everyone's trying to quest and level in the same zone? That's going to be brutal. At least in uh, Classic WoW, it was fairly spread out, you know what I mean? Zone wise. For TBC, it's not going to be like that. And it's a much smaller, like, world, I believe, right? Outlands compared to, you know, Kalimdor and uh, just Azeroth in general. Uh, Eastern Kingdoms, right? Kalimdor and Eastern Kingdoms. Probably much larger than uh, the TBC zone. So it's going to be interesting to see how they deal with that. I imagine it's going to be brutal. So, see how that goes. The race to Karazhan is going to be cool. It's going to be uh, interesting to see who, who clears that first. Private server guild cleared, uh, cleared Molten Core first. So I wouldn't be surprised if the another private server guild was... The ones to clear TBC. That was a cool t thing too the, at the beginning of the expansion, the race between uh, Method and the private server guilds to who will clear MC first. And really it wasn't even close. A lot of people thought it, uh, Method was going to win, you know what I mean? Because they have that reputation for always winning world first races in World of Warcraft, but it was cool to see. Cool to see a private server guild that's been doing it for years take take it down. Also in retail. retail that, that, was, that was probably the best thing about Battle for Azeroth. I know I'm kind of switching it up here, but Streaming the world first races. I think that's what made Battle for Azeroth good. Being able to see high progression guilds. Like, I don't know. I think I said that right. Like, guilds that are like, I don't know, the best in the world progress on raids live was pretty cool. And I think that, uh, that was going to be interesting to watch in Shadowlands as well. And now that Blizzard knows that that's a thing, it's going to be interesting to uh, see if they make any changes to, uh, I don't know, help uh, 
help that scene out to make it uh, like a better viewer experience. Because WoW just skyrockets up whenever there's a World First race going on. And it's also cool seeing other guilds like Limit. Like, challenge them. Challenge your guilds like Method. I think uh, Limit won the last one. The, the Nihilotha raid. Which uh, was a surprise, because usually Method just wins every time. So it was nice to see some new guys win, you know what I mean? Jeez, gotta watch out for this pat. I wonder if I could fight this pat. Uh, I should probably watch myself. Oh yeah, never mind. I'll probably fight this guy, maybe? I think I could fight this pat? Oh, it's looking kinda tough. I'm getting beat out here, dude. I might be able to see. I'm gonna have to heal out of this. Stun you. I'm gonna regrowth. Oh man, this isn't looking too good. I got to kite a bit while these guys try to get their man up. I will be back. I got a kite. I don't think I can take him out. Can beat up too much. Yeah, WoW's in a good spot. It's gotten better. Like over the past ten years, what they've added, I think, has been it's been good. Like, yeah, they've had some bad expansions. They've had some some stuff that didn't work out, like garrisons and you know what I mean. Uh, game modes that just weren't popular. But uh. They're moving in the right direction. They've had some good stuff as well. It's a great MMO. It's really nothing like it. And the addition of like, uh, there's just, I don't know, it's insane. The addition of, of classic content too. Like what you're getting for your, for your sub is actually pretty good. I actually thought the sub, like before classic WoW was out, I thought the sub was like a little bit too, I don't know, a little too expensive. But now that you're getting pretty much two games for the price of one, like you can't even do all the content. Even close. It's hard to play both games. Like really all I play is classic. And like I want to check retail out, but I just don't have the time. I haven't done Nihilotha yet. I wonder if you guys... I don't know if anybody's out there still listening. But if you're there, if you're one of the people watching, I wonder if you guys would be interested in me playing retail content. Because I'm thinking about going back. Because we're kind of in like a little bit of a lull right now. In Classic. Well, there's not too much for me to do other than like level this Druid, which I'm going to obviously keep doing. And uh, just farm gold. But, uh, farm gold for raid and stuff. But, yeah, I, I'm kind of interested in doing maybe some, uh, some retail content on this channel. I'm just kind of wondering if anybody would be interested in that. I don't have too big of a following on my channel right now. But, uh, got like 140 subscribers. 144, I think. It's going up, though. And our watch time is at, uh, I think, 1.3K, which is nice. Got to hit 4K and 1,000 subs just to be able to get your channel monetized. But, I don't know. I've been enjoying making content. I'm almost at a full year of making uh, a, a video every day on my YouTube channel. I started that, uh, I believe, May 1st, 2019. We're closing in on that in a couple of days. It's crazy how time flies. Just, it flies, man. 
Remember when I was like, I also started growing my beard like last year around like out of March. And I was like, wow, it's gonna be a long time. For uh, it's gonna t it's gonna feel like ages you know, for for a year to go by, and uh, it honestly went by the blink of an eye. Yeah, we slayed so many of these trolls, man. Yeah, I'm enjoying making the content. One thing I need to start doing, though, I think, is... Uh, I need to make more, like, guide videos. I know my channel's kind of like a Let's Play channel right now. But I kind of want to start making more guides. Content for, uh... I guess players that are new, I guess new to the game. I don't really have a, an official game that I play. I guess World of Warcraft at the moment is like the game that I'm, I'm playing the most. So I guess that's my the game, on, the main game on this channel right now. It used to be Skyrim for a bit. But I've just been sticking with Classic WoW for now. And I enjoy WoW. That was a good game. There isn't many like single player games that I'm looking forward to at the moment. Final Fantasy VII is a cool one that I was thinking about picking up, but... I don't know if I really want to do a Let's Play of that. Cyberpunk. Another cool like, single player game I was thinking about picking up. It comes out. Elder Scrolls 6. That should be pretty good. I'll probably do that. I'll 100% do the new Elder Scrolls. I enjoy doing Outer Worlds. thinking about doing maybe another play of that like play through of that just like a different style though one that's more uh one where i'm more of like a, a melee based guy and i'm kind of i don't know i guess a, a different storyline where my character is more evil i guess or anti-corporation or pro-corporation because the guy i made at the start was anti-corporation That game has a cool storyline. Really good storyline. I don't want to spoil it for anybody that hasn't played, but... Outer Worlds was a good buy. Good game for sure. If it ever goes on sale, then yeah, I'd buy it 100%. I'll split her warrior. Come on! Gotta get him down. There we go. No! I pulled another one. Yeah, I gotta get better at editing. It's one thing I need to work on this year. And really just do, it's pretty simple, like, let's plays. All I do is just cut the front, cut the back, and then you're done. Have like an intro, outro. Which is not bad. But I kind of want to, uh, up my editing game so I can make, you know, different kinds of videos. Like, guides usually have a lot more editing in them. And that's kind of why I've, uh, kind of strayed away from guides. Because I don't, uh, I don't know the editing techniques that I need to, uh, to create them. But I got 
Something that I'm going to try to figure out soon. Man, we've been grinding out here. We are getting close to halfway. We're almost at half. Getting a lot of XP from slaying all these guys. Problem is I'm having a tr tough time finding more trolls to take out. Okay. There's tons of gorillas around here. I might just mount up. Kitty feels a little too slow. Are there any around here? There's some skull splitter trolls. There we go. These guys are 42. Scouts? I haven't been over here yet. Let's check the scout out. Oh no. No. So we actually found a new ruin. The ruin of Z Zol Mama. Or Zol, Zol Mamwe. I haven't been here yet. Got us a little bit of XP. Should remember to do that. Try to get all the the XP from exploring. In a couple pages. Pants are broken. Just noticed that now. I'm gonna have to go repair those when we get back to town. I wonder where I can repair my pants. I wonder if there's a repair guy in from Gold Base Camp. an axe throw. Let's go deal with this guy. Give us some necklaces. There we go. Just gotta tell them to give us necklaces and they give us necklaces. Four away. Four away. We'll have our necklace quota for Kinwele. Yeah, WoW's moving in a good direction. Like, if you think about it, They have a, a solid plan all the way up to, like, I'd say, 2023. Or all the new expansions will be will still come out, and then they'll just keep releasing, I guess, old content. Like, uh, we got a nice back, seven defense. They'll just keep, like, eventually they're going to do uh, a Wrath of the Lich King, you know, server. They'll keep doing BC servers, they'll keep doing classic servers. Maybe eventually they'll spice it up. You know? Like make a classic server that's just that's that's different. There's just so much they can do. That's why I think this it's gonna be hard for an MMO to top uh to top to top World of Warcraft. And the, there's just so much content. And the game, like, doesn't look bad. You know what I mean? It has decent graphics. Like, could you imagine, like, a, a classic server where the only way you could get honor was through world PvP? 
I know that would be terrible. You know, and annoying. But that would be an interesting server. Like a server without battlegrounds. I think that would be pretty cool. So I wonder how many people would join something like that. But yeah, that would be cool. Like a server where... Servers where people can vote on like how... How it's released. You know what I mean? I imagine there was a server where all the raids are released day one. It's like a fresh wipe server. All the raids are released. That would be interesting too. It would be interesting to see like how long it would take for people to, to like clear Nax Rams. That would be cool to watch. Or just be a part of. Dude. Where are you running to? Just a scout. Oh, he ran to his team. Got him down. No flask on him. We gotta run. Okay, we're gonna stun these guys. Druids always get away. I think we're running deeper into uh, to the pit here. Who is this guy? Anathak the Cruel. Guess he's one of the leaders of the Skull Splitter Trap. I'm gonna keep running away here. Hopefully, I'm running the right way. Okay, they stop chasing. Me. Yeah, it would be cool if they did that. Yeah, I've slain. I feel like I've slain close to a hundred right now. Gotta be close. Two hundred. There we go. Another split bone necklace. go they're starting to drop we only need one more and we're done so yeah pretty serious farm this quest has been oh my gosh don't heal probably got that off because i did not have fairy fire up big mistake by me got a scroll of strength Yeah, this was a good farm. Got a lot of XP. Another Mystic here. I think we'll go for the Mystic. Fairy fire up on. Surprised that I didn't pull that axe thrower. Comes the heal. I don't think he's gonna get it off. There we go. Didn't get a necklace. Maybe this guy will be the one. Who allows us to, to have this quest completed. The defense has gone up to 210. That's good. This guy's gonna be the guy. Nope. They're really making me work for it. Which I don't mind. This guy's a beast master. I didn't come over here. Like, this is a way better spot to come if you're, like, a higher level. Right at this, uh... The Zolmamwe ruins.
And there we go. We're done, guys. Collected 25 necklaces. Now we have to make our way back to the Grumgall base camp. What a grind. I don't know how that guy knocked me off the mount. That's just my luck. You know, it's just my luck. We'll get away from him, though. Come on, come on. <laughs> These scouts. There's a dagger knocks me off my map. Here we go. Okay, looks like he's done. He's bored of us. Let's get back, heal up here. Get on our mount again. Make our journey to Grumgall Base Camp. Yeah, not a bad quest. Pretty chill. No alliance around to slay me or... Not a lot of PvP going on. Usually STV has a ton of PvP. Thanks to layering. It's just, uh... I feel like I'm in a self... I feel like I'm in an isolated Azeroth. You know what I mean? That's how I feel right now. I wonder what it... Well, actually, on other servers where there's not a high pop, they obviously don't have layering. But could you imagine you're on a server that's that has layering, but your faction is, uh, is, the, is like, I don't know, the lower pop faction? Are you serious? How'd this guy knock me off my mount? Yeah, if you're on the lower pop faction in a layered server, it must feel so desolate. Like, your main cities must honestly only have, like... No, nobody in them. I, I know Stalag. Supposedly its alliance population is, like, literally nothing. Like, maybe under 100 people. And if that server has layering... There must be, like, I don't know, 10 people in a, in a city. That must be terrible. That's why I chose Fairlina. I knew Fairlina would have a decent pop throughout the entire six phases. And it would have a good ratio of Alliance to Horde because there was like a good split of uh, popular streamers on each faction playing. Here we go. Pulling up the Grum Gull. Gonna go speak to Kin Wele. Where are you at, bud? There he is. I talked to Var too. Hey there. The Skull Splitters will curse the day they brought us to war. Is your task complete? Your strength is great to have gained these necklaces, Flag Carrier. The Skull Splitters fall to you like young saplings stomped to earth by a basilisk. Your deeds are a boon to us. So we'll take the male boots because I think they're worth more. Got three. It's pretty close to halfway to 44, which is nice. We're going to repair our items. I guess we'll sell some stuff like these boots that we picked up. There's a cloak we got too that I wanted to get rid of. Picked up a lot of stuff. And yeah, there's the cloak. Some troll sweat we'll get rid of. Obviously you don't want to hold on to troll sweat. Been collecting a lot of uh, a lot of silk cloth from that. Get rid of this hog shank. Is that more troll sweat? Yeah. Got a lot of troll sweat. Tons of it. Flask of mojo. I wonder if that's worth anything. We'll have to see. We got six gold today doing that quest. Not bad. So let's hearth back to the salty sailor in. Dark spear troll reputation is gone up. Which I think is good. I don't know what you get from that. But that is the end of the episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.